Okay, let's get this going because my camera's running out of memory. Hi everybody and welcome back to my main channel! So, if you are watching this from watching my video on my side channel from Monday, which is basically a motivational, well not motivational, but it's kind of like a shout out to Pink because I adore her and I adore her music and yeah, basically for the theme of this video is I'm going to be doing a reacting video to Pink's latest album, which I'm super excited for because I love her music. If you want to know how much I love her music, then please go watch my other channel. So let's get started with listening to her album. This is Beautiful Trauma. It's a great start to the album, I think. We were on fire, now such a tire. Nothing but you, my perfect rock bottom, beautiful trauma. See, I know beautiful trauma from before because that one got kind of leaked before the uh, actual album came out. So that one I was already really in love with. I just, I think it's great. I love the way that it sounds and just the the the, the vibe it gives. This is called Revenge. I love it. Very good. That's really poppy, like really bouncy. I like that. I look forward to it. I just, uh, that's such a good song. <gasps> Whatever you want. I know this one. See, that one, like, I love the vibe it gives. I love the, the sound, because it's, it's, it's very poppy, like, while it's going, like, it's quite, not so much rappy, but it's kind of like, not your stereotypical singing type of style. And then you get to the chorus, and you're like, yep, yeah, feels, all the feels. What about us? Oh my god, I love this one so much. This is my favorite so much. What about us? What about Now it's time to let them know what about us? Ah! Love it. Go watch the music video for this song because it's so perfect. Like, it's so good. But we lost it. Oh my god, this one's gonna make me cry. There's always that song on Pink's album that is just so emotional, like, emotion, like relationship emotional for me. And could this be it? Or the more? Okay, this is called Barbies. I look forward to it. This is not how I expected it to be from the title. I like it. That was a lot more emotional than I thought it was going to be. Like, I thought that, I th for some reason, I think because from other songs she's done in the past, which are a bit more like, you know, when they're referring to something like, I think of Barbies, I think of like, you know, the blonde hair, I think of, what am I thinking of? Uh, Stupid Girls. I thought it was going to be something similar to Stupid Girls. But that was so Rose Avenue and so soft and so more meaning well not meaningful but so much more emotional than what i thought it was going to be where we go me, 
That's a babe. Yep. I love that one because it's got a really good beat to it. Like, it's got the good drum beat and it just... She's very chill in this album, I'm finding. Like, I don't know whether it's because, you know, she's gotten a bit... Not so much so, but, you know, when you get older, you kind of get like that. But she's very much more chill. She's not having to make music that is kind of like the same as anybody else's at the moment. Like, you got loads of music that's out lately that's very much like, oh yeah, club, boom, boom, boom. Whereas hers, she's very... She's got that, like, the beats that it could become a very clubbish song, but she that's not what she's going for, which I am really happy for. Happy for that. For now. quite like that one it's got a very good beat in the chorus and it's got a very again I'm feeling so emotionally attached to them like I'm not kind of listening to it but like oh this is a good song isn't it I'm like I can I can hear her words I'm listening to what she's saying I just feel so I feel connected to her and that's what I love in a music artist like I feel really connected to her at the moment secrets What's this gonna do for me? <laughs> Don't be so emotional. Don't make me cry. That one's a bit more clubby. You can get that one proper playing in, in a club if you wanted it to. And it's got more bounce to it than some of the other songs on this album. So, all in all, I think that's a really good one. That one might become a favourite of mine, I think. Better Life. that one feels very 90s. I don't know whether this is just me thinking this or whether like that's a genuine thing. That feels very 90s but the lyrics, oh my god, like I genuinely go through that thought process so many times. Like, I, like in every relationship I've had, like even now I'm kind of like, do you picture a better life? Do you picture being with someone better? And I'm like, oh god! The music, the beat felt very early pink. I don't know whether that's just me thinking this. I am here. <laughs> I love it already. that one just was so like the the beat of it is fast it's catchy it's like boom, boom. like it's, it's just so it's, it's a catchy beat and just the way that the, the way that it sounds is just perfect it's brilliant and just the whole chorus bit in the chorus in the the chorus like you know what I mean like the, the amount of people the magnitude of the people like it just made it sound much more fuller and it just sounded so much more perfect and oh. wild hearts can't be tamed I fight because I have to yeah and I get 
damn emotional when I listen to her, when you can feel her emotions. You can just feel how she feels. And, uh, I can't cope. You get my love. This is gonna be a cute one. But you get my love, baby. You get my love. You're the one thing about me that you can trust. Once again, I have to risk it all. <sighs> I love her vocals. I love her power. I love just the power behind her vocals and just how strong and amazing she is. All in all, that was a very hearty album. It, she has grown so much as a performer and as a songwriter. Her first albums were very much like, you know, proper poppy, proper dancey type of stuff. And then as she's gotten older, she's done more and more things that are just not so much chill down, but less about the gonna, you know, make pop music. She's making music that is just so good for the heart. And a lot of it actually reminds me of her Rose Avenue album. Or, you know, her album as Rose Avenue. You and Me, like, that was a really good album. I really enjoyed that one. I don't think that one got off as much as she would have individually. But I really enjoyed that album. I mean, You and Me as a song is amazing. I think it's beautiful. But this album, Beautiful Trauma, oh my god. I can't put into words how much I love her. This hasn't been a massively, like, visual thing, but I just, uh, I, uh, I have no words. I have no words for the woman. She's amazing. She's a, she's a goddess, really. And she's so inspirational, so amazing in every way. I keep talking about how amazing she is and just her music is amazing and everything about her is perfect. So I'm going to leave that as that. Though. So thank you for watching this video everybody. This has been my reaction video for Pink's latest album, Beautiful Trauma. Please go and listen to all of it. Listen to the music properly because it's beautiful. So I shall see you all next week for another video. So remember to give this video a thumbs up if you're a Pink fan. Remember to make any comments down below in the comment section. And I shall see you all next week. Bye everyone.